Okay, so today I want to have a little bit of fun and do a little bit of a test. So uh, here are two budget brand, brand shall not be named, uh, level 4 ceramic ballistic plates. Um, you know, level 4 body armor is supposed to take multiple hits from M2 AP and uh, still keep on trucking. So we're going to see if the budget brand ceramics can really hold up to that. And to test them today, uh, I'm only going to be using two calipers. So I've got uh, eight millimeter Mauser. Uh, this is a 200 grain hollow point boat tail match king over 42 grains of IMR 4064. Uh, this is it's pretty hot. And then this is a basically an M193 reload using a, um, a Sierra match king bullet on top of it. Uh, the 556223, this is going to be fired out of a 20 inch barrel. And then the 8mm is going to be fired out of a standard Mauser M48, which I believe is 18 inches. So I'll double check that and put it in, in the editing room. So without further ado, I'm going to throw these two plates down range and uh, take a few practice shots and then we'll see what we can do to them. So just for, yeah, there's no, there's no label on the backside. However, they do say that they are level 4 rated. We will see. So brand has been covered up and we got a nice mark there so put these down range and see what we can do all right so I've taken some practice shots I know where to hold uh, I'm gonna drop the camera down and zoom it in uh, the target on the right side of the frame is gonna be for the 8 millimeter because it's the only one I can see through this four power scope and the one on the left hand side of the frame is gonna be for the 223 556 whatever you want to call it because it's actually kind of sort of in the weeds and that rifle has a much, much, much more powerful scope than this. So let me drop it down, zoom it in, and we'll see what happens. I'm going to fire two shots at each just to see uh, what, what the, uh, the hit, hit capability, you know, whatever you want to call it is, of these plates. Okay, so the results are in. <clears throat> However, not at the range, just because the range got very busy, and it took several hours to wait for a ceasefire to go and retrieve these two from downrange. But anyways, uh, again, on your right, 8mm Mauser, on your left, 223.556. So starting with the 8mm Mauser, this took two direct hits, uh, basically one on top of the other right here. And, um, yeah, it, uh, it took a hell of a beat. So... An interesting thing that I kind of learned about this design, I'm not sure if this is the case across almost all of them, but uh, this is not one contiguous piece of ceramic. It's like tiles that are glued together. The tiles themselves are curved slightly, uh, but they are like glued or cemented together inside there like so underneath this cover to make up the strike face. Um, my thought would be that that would allow a little bit more uh, room for say maybe a projectile to go straight through the joints. I don't know uh, But that's just me. But looking at this you can see that almost all the ceramic has been ejected straight out of this panel um, And from the looks of it, it just went up and out um, The Kevlar backer is still in you know one piece nothing made it through you know, there's a lot of deformation, but nothing actually made it through this panel. However, you have to kind of think, if you were wearing a larger version of this, a larger strike plate, you know, for your chest or your back or whatever, um, all of the stuff that came out of this, including, you know, the ceramic fragments, um, the jacket. Again, there is no jacket. There is no bullet in here. I only found one fragment of jacket right there. That is it. The rest is missing. But all of that stuff, when it gets ejected, it's going to get ejected straight up, straight out, 
you know, so your head, your neck, and whatever is going to be here, your arm is going to be over here. That would ruin your fucking day right off the rip. Well, this would ruin your day, too, let's be real. But keep that in mind. You know, there is no NIJ certification on this, whatever. It just says bulletproof, level 4, whatever. But 8mm, it took them both. So moving on to the... Um, Two two three five five six over here. Um, I was actually really, really, really expecting that to just sail straight on through this plate, but it didn't. Uh, this actually stopped at stone cold. So you can see again uh, the ceramic itself; those little panels just completely disintegrated, got ejected out, and uh, you can see the splash on this Kevlar backer or the bullet actually impact, and I caught it. There's not a whole lot of deformation as compared to the eight millimeter, but there is some. But on that same side, right here, there are a few little pinholes. You know, right there, right there, right there, and there was a fragment of jacket sticking out of this hole. So it must be right down in there is where it made it through. But again, the entire bullet did not. And then down here, this is a glancing blow. <laughs> again, same thing. Um, you can see right where it stopped it. But all of the ceramic media, whatever you want to call it, has been ejected straight out. So, And this is what that ceramic looks like when it breaks. It just turns into little razor blades. So that's kind of freaky to think about. Um... So, they will hold up. I would be really wary of, you know, putting them on and taking rifle fire with them just because, yeah, it'll stop the bullet. At the same time, you'll get cut up pretty bad. You might bleed to death. Who knows? And the, uh, the deformation is kind of concerning. You want to talk about a soft body injury, Jesus. Or a blunt injury, I should say. That's, that's a lot. But, I don't know, I thought it was a very interesting test, so. Proof is that the Chinesium body armor is kind of, sort of, okay. Would I trust my life to it? Probably not. Uh, but that's just me. Your mileage may vary. So, thanks for watching. Happy building.